Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to highlight your mouse cursor. So by the end of this video, you'll have this mouse cursor available so that you or your audience can see your mouse cursor more clearly, whether you're screen recording or doing a screen presentation. So the mouse cursor I'm gonna be using is this one here called Cursor Highlighter and it's completely free to use. I'll leave a link in the description for this website and we're gonna follow the instructions on installing this cursor highlighter. This is completely free to use and it only requires two steps in order to get this to work. The first thing we need to do is to install the main application which is called Auto Hotkey, which is a free application. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description as well. When we get to the website autohotkey.com forward slash download, we're going to click the download Auto Hotkey installer here. So I'll click this now. So once that's downloaded, what I can do is directly open it up through Microsoft Edge, or I can use the Explorer button here, and then we're going to navigate to the downloads folder here. And it's going to be in our downloads folder here. So I'm going to click on Auto Hotkey Setup, I'm going to click Yes here. And now I'm gonna go through the auto hotkey setup. So I'm gonna click on express installation. So this only took a few seconds to complete and now we can click exit. I'm gonna to return to the Boyce for Lab website and then we're gonna scroll down and then download the auto hockey script. This is called cursor highlighter and at the time of recording, the latest version is 2.2. And it's gonna take us to this Google Drive page. So here on the top right hand side of the screen, we're gonna click the download button here. And now we've downloaded the script here. So I'm gonna open up File Explorer again here. We're gonna to go to the downloads folder here. And then we have this Cursor Highlighter 2.2. This is an Auto Hotkey script. So because we've already installed Auto Hotkey, this has the correct icon here, which is this H icon. So that means I can double click on this to initiate the script. This is asking us to create the Cursor Highlighter settings.ini. This is just the settings for the Cursor Highlighter. We're going to click yes here. So as you can see that we have the Cursor Highlighter already available and open to us. This can be enabled and disabled by clicking on this new button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. We can now click on this and that will disable the cursor highlighting and then click on it again to enable cursor highlighting. If you want to change any preference settings on it, we can right click on this and then we can go to settings and then we can change certain preference options with this cursor highlighter. So for example, if you want to be able to change the left click settings. So at the moment, if I left click on the screen, then nothing actually happens. However, what I could do is to hide the picture. So when I left click on the screen, the yellow highlight disappears. What I could do is to change the width and height. So here we have a different color and size. And when I click on the screen, it changes from yellow to a smaller purple circle. So I can easily configure the preferences here. You can also add things like right click, highlight settings, change the color, change the size. And there are plenty of other settings here. But the main thing to note is that you can change all of these with the cursor highlighter option. Once we're done, we can press done here. If I want to change any more preferences and you can't find that auto hotkey script, you can click this little button here and it's gonna show all the hidden icons. If you wanna be able to see it all the time, you can just drag this onto the bar here and then it will always be available there. So you can enable it and disable it at will. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I have plenty of other useful productivity tutorials on my channel. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.